Dom, thanks for joining us. Um, first of all, let's just take a look at how you've been getting on over the last few weeks since you got your injury. A bit of a frustrating time for yourself. Yeah, it was. Um, obviously, nobody wants to be injured. Everybody wants to just be playing as many games as possible. And for me, I think it came at a, a bad time as well. I think I'd had a bit of form and a few goals and with a good cut of results. Um, but that's football. You've got to just take it in the chin and move on and that's ultimately what I've done. Um, I've, always, I've had the operation and the recovery started, so I'm hoping that I'm back as soon as possible. Was it uh, an injury that was niggling away but came to a head or was it something that just kind of came out of the blue for you? Yeah, well, I had a, a kind of small pain in my knee, which I had probably since pre-season, um, but just kind of think the way I am, I wanted to just get through it and I was getting through it, um, and it wasn't really affecting me in games. But then, as the time went on, I think I probably done it more damage. Um, just again training every day and, and playing games. Um, but again, I've, I've no regrets about it. It's what I wanted to do, and it just got to a point where I think I was taking about six painkillers a day, and I was seeing the the physio morning, noon, and night, and I decided just to go for a scan um, on it thinking it just for a peace of mind that it wasn't anything serious and it, it turned out that it was something quite serious and they said I had to get the operation as soon as possible and kind of stop training and playing which was a big blow um, obviously I still wanted to train and play but the specialist had said to me that it, it wasn't worth the risk um, and, and it'd be fair to them they, they got the operation done very quickly and obviously that's me starting my rehab now so I'm on the road to recovery Have you been through these kind of processes before in terms of the surgery and the rehab or is this something new for yourself? No, this is something totally new to myself. Um, I've never had an injury in my career, Touchwood. Um, I, I don't even think I've missed a training session through injury, so to get this was was a, a bit of a, a gutter, as I said, but again, it's, it's part part of football. You've got to just take it um, and that, again, that, that's what I've did and I've, I'm over it now and started the recovery as I said so for me it's just getting back as fit as possible and, and getting back and helping the team. It's the new year so of course let's take a look back at 2021. How would you look back first of all at your 2021? Have you been pretty pleased with your form and the way things have went for you? Yeah definitely obviously it's, it's been a hard year for everybody kind of off the field but it's, I suppose it's affected on the field and um, we know fans obviously at the start of the year etc and lockdowns and missing football but you've got to just be happy you're still here I suppose and you know a lot of people are in a worse situation than me so you've got to just take the, the positives um, but on, on a football I think I said obviously the injury came at a bad time where I felt I'd had a good bit of form and I'd obviously chipped in with a few goals and the results but overall I think going even toward the end of last year kind of with the playoffs and that and then Obviously, the change um, at the club. Um, I thought we started really well through the, the kind of group stages of the, the cup, and then things just didn't work out at the start we wanted. But we dug in again, and then another change, and things seem to be on the up again. I know kind of a bad couple of results recently, but I think the fans and everybody in the club can can see the positives. Um, kind of obviously, there's been a, a couple of injuries, myself included, and um, I think we are getting back. We've got a bit of identity about us, and I think there's a, a bright future for the club. As you said, looking at 2021 from a Dunfermline perspective, we um, pushed for promotion to the Premiership last year through the playoffs, ultimately um, fell in the quarterfinals, but it was a, a, another progressive season. And as you said, we started this season really positively. Um, is it just about trying to... to uh, build on all those positives despite maybe the, the difficulties over the last few months going into 2022? Yeah, definitely. Again, you, you can't control what's already been done and what's in the past. So for us, it's just about looking into the future. And again, as I say, me personally, I've got a positive look uh, on the squad and on the club. Um, and, and I think we will get ourselves out and into a good position where we deserve to be. And we know that's just through hard work sticking together and the results will come obviously you, you see the gaffer he's, he's, he's brought a kind of buzz to the place again um, and already he's trying to affect things with the new signings and I'm sure there'll be a few more 
um, coming in this month. And, and that's what the boys want. They want the best players at this club and challenging for places and ultimately helping each other out to get the club higher up where we want to be. As you said, there are new signings. The first one just earlier on this week and Stephen Wallace in a position where uh, you'll be looking to, to start once you, you, you get back from injury as well. So does that provide you extra motivation that you see a player coming in and you think, I, I'll need to try and get back as quickly as possible and, and, and be knocking on the manager's door to get back in the team? Yeah, definitely. First and foremost for me, it's just getting in back fat and, and available for selection to help the team. Um, but it's great to see new players coming in. It shows that the hunger of the club as well. It's not just to kind of sit back and see what happens. We want things done and we want to go and change what's happened. Um, Lawless is a great player. He's, he's been about for years and he's got great ability. And again, it's one of the players he, he knows what he, he knows the league. He's got experience. So for me, I think it's a great signing for the club and, and hopefully he does really well for us. Another big part of 2021 for yourself would have been wearing the captain's armband for the side earlier on in the season. A, a big achievement for yourself and, and something that you look back on with pride. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, captain any team is is a great achievement, but a club it means a lot to you, like Dunfermline. It, it really it was something special and I enjoyed it. And I, th I think we've done all right, as I say, as it was in the group stages and um, the cup, where it was probably one of the positives to the season. So, they have the armband for that, it was great. Um, obviously, things have changed, but that's football again. You've got to deal with change and just go on, mate. And for me, again, I think I've just focused on my, my own performances and how much I can help the team. And I think so far I've done that. Moving into 2022, um, starting off with the, the Fife Derby against Faith Rovers, always the, the best way to, to start the, the, the new year is, is to try and beat your, your local rivals. Of course, no fans. Um, in the in the ground for Dunfermline just due to the COVID restrictions, which is disappointing, but I'm sure three points would, would change that feeling for them. Yeah, definitely. There's no better way to start the year than we are win. I'm sure everybody wants that. and I'm sure we're more than capable of going and doing it. Um, as you said, there are no fans, which is a massive blow. I think the Dunfermline fans were in great voice the last time um, out at Starts Park. So that, that will be um, a bit of a blow for the team, but I'm sure they'll be watching on the, the links and all that and we can go and put a performance on for them. And just in terms of your overall message to the fans for the new year, is it just a case of stick behind the team, stay with us and we'll, and we'll do our best to, to kind of climb that table and, and try and make the most of the, the, the remaining league games? Yeah, definitely. I hope all the fans had a good Christmas and they have a good 2022 um, and just stick with us. We know we're out there for you, so... Just give us that bit of back and we stick together. I'm sure we'll go right up that table.